Do you know how many perceptions there are? There are as many perceptions as there are eyes on each individual person. If I was to look at a root ball from a tree and their intricacy and how they net together, I can obviously see that they're separate, but they're very close. For one root to be the other roots, just to want to be the other roots, because there's so many different ones, and they have their own shapes and sizes, and so what and have you. For one root to be, or want to be another root, would be insane. Because once that root tries to be every other part or every other root that it's familiar with, that's a long way to get back to just being the root it came as. This is why this concept is not even a reality. A root can't try to be other roots. It lives in this vastness of root systems and is happy to be the piece that it is to supply nutrients to the overall source. This is important because we as individuals, we don't know how to stay ourselves. The hardest thing for somebody to do is to put down something that had an impression on their lives. Some people get to the point to where they become kleptomaniacs with words and phrases of other people's morality. They're in the passion and the perception of one's words and deeply felt vibrations of understanding and clearly enlightening one's mentality can become addictive. So the kleptomaniac will take and take and take and take and take with no understanding. Yes, you will be a jack of all trades and a master of none. That is no understanding. That's just capable. So I can ask you to help me with this job, but I can't allow you to run it. Excuse me for a second. You'll never know exactly what it is that your soul requires. Because the first original attachment it has is in the beginning meat when you are a little fruit freshly falling off of the tree. And you're the fresh fruit that's just brought into this world. It's high up there. It's way, way up. It's a long fall. And once you come down here, you get a chance to see all the bugs. The ones that come with you out of the etheric world and the ones that wish to attack you in the physical world. They enter in your dreams and they enter into your reality. It be your first fears. I remember, I remember, most don't want to because the non-indicative connection to life. There's no symbols of remembrance. There's only things that you believe to be new. So you attach yourself to these circumstances and rage, rage inferno. I will, I will chase a dream that is not even real. 
I will be a part of an illusion that doesn't have a source or a base. The false connections will rule my life. This is the reality of today. The old, the new, the present. The past is always on you. You grow your food on the past. You wear the past. Your jewelry, your diamonds are the bone marrow of giants. <sighs> Don't let me tally on. The truth is, in a way, humbling to the existence of false reality. Some might have thought that the dinosaurs was really big to a giant. Well, if you're looking at it from this perception, I guess you would believe that dinosaurs were <laughs> the issue. Well, if they were big, then that means I was that much bigger. Not rocket science, you know what I'm saying? Like we are what, what we we are what we came from. You know what I'm saying? Like so the the I believe the earth was flesh. I believe the bodies were so big because of the fallen. Think about fresh fruit. It's fresh. It's big. Right? Then what happens? It shrivels up. <laughs> it keeps shriveling up like you like if you don't touch it no animals eat it and it stays in that same spot you'll come back and that fruit will be tinier you'll be like this fruit was bigger than that it is drying out it shrinks it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until the seed bears itself and then when the seed bears itself new life can come out of that that's what we're going through whether anybody wants to tell that or not, like that's what you're going through. That's what everybody's going through. But we believe we're living in cities and shit. And no, this is the ground the fruit falls on. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't plant seeds by trees that it, they, they don't fall from. So the trees were here. This was this is all the soil. This is all the stuff that's used to allow us to grow. It's what's here. And they can't get nothing from anywhere else. So particularly you know what I'm saying? Understanding that you're growing like a tree is indicative to the, the truth. It's symbolic. Life don't have to be all this other stuff. I keep speaking in this motion to show you the purpose. If you know exactly what you're here for, you can let go of a lot of things. A lot. And understand what you're supposed to be doing on a daily basis. Start by understanding that that life inside of you has to grow. We are a universal seed that plants seeds. This is a connection that's never been seen before. That's what we are. We've never been, we've never been seen before. We are the new. We are a new seed a seed that's able to plant seeds we are a seed that's able to plant seeds like how far from your imagination do you see that not to be true people today create mechanics to do the job for them think about it it's nothing new under the sun right so if I was to create the greatest creation, it would be the seed and the plant in one. We revel at the fact that trees give us fruit. Look at my cousin go. Look at my cousin go. He can produce oxygen. Can change carbon monoxide into oxygen and give me fruit. Look at my cousin go. Because like, yo, yo, big cuz, you really, you, you, you that real tree. You that next level tree. You that shit that's going to give us 
you know, that next level life, the reason why we keep growing. So me protecting those trees is important, right? Because they grow off of me. The breakdown. The get down, baby. Don't let me hold you. <laughs> you already know the vibes. It's Naga.